Okay, so who's here, Lean and Lean and uh, Mateen, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, so you have Saudi National Day coming up tomorrow, inshallah. So who will tell me which year your Saudi Arabia was conquered? What was the year where king, and who was the king who actually conquered Saudi Arabia? Any idea you have? The name of the king and which year was Saudi Arabia found? It was 1932. It was 1932 girls. Okay? okay. It was 1932. Saudi Arabia was found and that's the reason you are celebrating the National Day here. And who actually conquered? It was King Abdulaziz here, who conquered uh, Oasis in Riyadh in 1902. And then he unified the, by some forces. And in, on 23rd September 30 to 1932, he changed the name of his family, the name of the uh, realm to his family name, the House of Saud. Okay, this is some briefly thing and uh, and how do you all celebrate uh, the National Day by folk dances and you have some festivals, the roads and you know the roads are decorated, uh, everything is decorated, you all wear white and green dresses or white and green what do you call it, as balloons. So this is what a brief introduction about your Saudi National Day. Let us come back to what do I teach girls? <laughs> I hope you all remember. What do I teach? I teach you all math. Let us come and start with the lesson. What was the lesson's name, Malak? Yes, I did the homework. Very good. What was the lesson's name? Great GCF. GCF, that is greatest common factor. Common factor. Now, now here, this one, did you do it? Uh, this, this, uh, I think you cannot see the page number down, right? Can you see the page number? No. No, no. no yeah, I, I found it. It's page 25. Page 25. Yeah. Now, question 14, 15, 16, 17. Did you do or no? Tell me honestly. Yeah. Only did Lean, did you do that? Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, great wearing today the Saudi national dress from today? Yeah. Your teacher told you? Yeah. yeah. Great. Which teacher? Maybe it's English. Miss Helen. Miss Helen. Anyway, six times. It is four plus five. All right? This is your answer here? Yeah. Because actually it is six times four plus. Miss, yeah, six times four plus six times five. Yeah, that but gives you. Six times. Yeah, six four times. Four yeah, I did it like this. Correct? This is your answer? Yeah. yeah. Can I just write the answers? That's enough? Seven. Yeah. Times. Multiply seven plus two. Yeah. La, did you do it or no? Miss, yeah, but mm -hmm. I did the first seven multiply seven plus seven multiply two. Yeah, yeah, that is that is the first step. Nine times seven. Nine multiply seven plus nine. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, you all understand that's a blessing for me. Six times five plus one. Not with six. Miss, how? Because I told you yesterday, do it with 12. It's this way. It's 12 times 5. 12 times 5 plus 12 times 1. You did the other way. You did with six. Okay, no problem. Six, Mr. No, no problem. No problem. So maybe your answer is 
just write OR and write on this 6 times 10. You can see again, again, there will be no prime factor. You need to have, you need to have prime, prime. your answer, I think so, is this. Right? Your answer is this. Am I correct? Six. Yeah. 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 But better, better go for this. Girls, now next lesson, I mean next uh, page. Turn to page number 27. Next what page? Next page number 26. Okay. Francisco teaches group of lessons to all the violin and viola students. Violin and viola girls, 30 and 36. 30 and 36. Of course, you have to know that what is the greatest number of students means you need to know greatest GC, GCF, greatest common factor. How will you know the greatest common factor? For 30, you write six times, six times five. For 36, you will write six times six. So what is your greatest common factor girls? The answer is six. Right? Yeah. Amada teaches all of the bass and violin student. All of the bass, 20 and 20 and uh, viola, 30. 20 and 30. So let me go here for 20. What I'm going to write? You can even go for Five. the third. Okay, you can go with the GCF. 20 comes in 2, comma, sorry, 1, comma, 1, comma, 2, comma, 5, uh, five uh, 4, four. Comma. Am I correct? And of yeah. 20, and of course 20. Coming to next is 30, it comes 1, comma, 2. I told you anything with 0 must be 2 and 5 also. Okay, 3 also. Miss, I didn't understand number 19. How did you put 6? I took the LCM, the ladder method here. And I just common take 6. You can, you can do with the other one. 1 comma. You can do any method. The ladder or the... You can do any method, okay? Just a second, guys. I'll just put my charger. Girls, you can do other method also, yeah. Can I do uh, method 20, right? Yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, it doesn't have 32, 30. 5, it has. 6, also it has. 7, no, it directly 10, I guess, right? Yeah. And then 30. What is the highest one here? 10. 10. But the answer actually... Yeah. If you forgot 30. Yeah, I'm right for 30, don't worry. Miss, we have common, uh, the common, we have five and two and one, but five is the biggest one. No, no, 10, Miss. 10 is the biggest one. Bas and Viola. Each class has the greatest possible number of students. Let's just do this and leave it. Don't write anything there because there is something else in this question. I will discuss it later with you, okay? Okay. Yeah.
We'll directly go to question number 23 down there. Go to question number 23. Okay. Here, the prime factorization of each number is shown. Prime factors of 6 and prime factors of 12. What is common here? 2. It's shown here, the factors. They are asking you to use the prime factorize and use 12. GCF. Uh, so 2 is common. See, how, how do you do with the ladder method? 2 is common, 3 is common. So you'll just write 2 and 3 one time. You will not write it as two times. I'll write two as one time because common, three as one time because common, and then what is left two is left. So your answer is two times three, six, six times two, twelve. Correct? No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. Good. You will just take the common one. And then you multiply, you get it as six. This is the GCF. This is the GCF. So we don't try three multiply three multiply two. No, 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 no. Just write one times. The common one only one time. Don't write again and again. Because this is the ladder method one. The other method you will write the highest. That's it. Okay? okay. You will see what is common. And you will multiply. Two is common here. And then three is common here. And two is not common. What is common prime factors? Two and three is common. Two and yeah. three is common. So what is common? You will just write that one time. Two one time and three one time and you will multiply. Okay? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, so Miss, we write in the middle of the circle two and three in the right two. Yes. Now, girls, I will not start the new lesson. I want you to solve the mid chapter checkpoint with me now. Turn to page, page number 27. You will turn to page number 35 directly from here. We'll turn to page number 35. We have finished this lesson. We have finished this. I will directly go to page number 35. With this, when you do the mid chapter checkpoint, that means it's like a, some, it's like a revision of everything, okay? Come on. Huh? I don't have 35. It says 34 and then there's 37. Give you this. Me too. I don't have it. Yeah, I did not give you this. That's why I did not copy for you this. Anyways, please, in your rough copy, in your rough work, can you just. Work. One second, one second, one second. Can you just take a picture of this? Okay. We have to copy it. Just take a picture and solve in your copy book. Okay. I took a picture. Yes. Listen, take a screenshot. Take a picture and solve in your copy book. I took a picture. Um. Now come to page number 29, girls. Page number 29. Now this one. Uh, I will not make you write all these things, the information while you are doing the question, while you are reading it. I will just solve the problem with you. Okay? Okay. Now, Vakim, can you read this question? Trophy caused a river a trophy at Riverside Middle School 
Middle school hold 18 baseball trophies and 24 soccer trophies. Oh. All children, all show, all shows hold the same number of trophies. Only one sport is re represented on each shelf. What is the greatest number of trophies that can be on each shelf? How many shelves are are there for each sport? 18 baseball and 24 soccer trophies. Now they want to ask you, like, how much, which one greatest? 18 and 24, you'll find the GCF. Quickly find the GCF and tell me. 18 and 24. Malak, even you try. For 18, I will write 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, not 5, 6, 6. Enough? And 9. And 9. Then if I write... 24 minutes, we do it. Yes? 24, we do it? Yes, do it. I, I told you both of them find out. 24 is 1, 2, 1, 1 2, 3, 3, again, 6, 4, and, and 6, 7, 8, 3 to 24 is 8, and plus. So what is the highest here, girls? Um, um, the highest 6. So six times three distributed property is 18, six times four is 24. When six come out, six comes out, what is left? Three plus four. Oh. Right? Yeah. My love, you, do you know what I'm doing here? Malak? Yeah, miss. Do you know what I'm doing here? Mm, yeah, miss. I doing the GCF, I wrote the GCF. Yeah. Instead of 18, I wrote 6 times 3. Instead of 24, three. I wrote 6 times 4. Because this is four. for distributive property. Then both, yeah. so I take 6 outside. When I take 6 outside, what is left in the first one? 3. What is left in four. four? You want me to explain again? No, Miss, I understand. Sure. Okay, can I erase this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you actually, what are you doing in the question? You're finding the GCF of? You're finding the GCF of 18 and 18 and 24. This is what you are doing. And then drawing the representing of shelves. Shelves, you need to draw, okay. You need to draw shelves. This was, Well, and this was, leave that drawing, leave the drawing part, girls. So there's how many trophies in each cell? What is the G, G, GCF? Six. The six. Great, there are six trophies in each cell. And there are three shelves for baseball. And there are four shelves for soccer. Now you know where I got three and four from, right? Yeah. Is this a problem understood by you? Any question, Vatim? No, miss. Easy, right? No. Okay, next page. After this, I have science with you. Mm -hmm. So let us solve the problem here by our own. Okay, how are you with it? Right with me. First of all, total bagels. Okay, Delia is bagging 24 onion bagels and 16 plain bagels. 
So let's just write total bagels first. Total bagels. How much? Onion and plain. How much? How much is for onion and how much is for plain? Onion. Please write it down. Yes. Tell me how much is onion. First understand. Then I'll give you time to write. How much is onion? Twenty-four. And then how much is plain? Sixty. When find, yeah, when you find the GCF, DCF of 24 and 16, I get, I get GCF by equals, if you, you know how to find it out, I'm not finding it, I get 8. So now, how will I distribute? For 24 plus 6, how will I distribute? Tell me, 8 times? Malak, what is 24? 8 times what? 24 is 8 times 4. 3. 3. No. Plus 8 times? No, I cannot take with the... Yes, it's 16 here. It's 16 actually. So eight times two. Correct? Yeah. Don't forget I need to put the bracket here. And I need to put a bracket here. I'm distributing here. And then here. And then here. Malak, what is my next step? What comes out? Um then we put uh, the three and what, the two. What? Eight times a, uh, yes, bracket then three. bracket three plus uh, two excellent yeah okay okay so now did you finish writing write it down girls write this in that solve the problem area please write this So you have three shelves, three bags of onion, and then two bags of plain. Can I erase? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now here, what will you get? Um, we have eight. eight. That's GCF. In that, how many onions were there? Three. Um, two. Three two and two. Okay. This is for today's class.